Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer who's looking to understand how to move values from XMM registers to general purpose registers. Specifically, they want to know how to transfer a 128-bit XMM register value into two 64-bit and four 32-bit general purpose registers. Let's break down the first part of the question. Our viewer is curious about how to move a 128-bit value from an XMM register into two 64-bit general purpose registers. This is a crucial operation in low-level programming, especially when optimizing performance. Next, we have the second part of the question. The developer wants to know how to split that same 128-bit XMM register value into four 32-bit general purpose registers. This operation is equally important for managing data efficiently in various applications. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. Let's begin by moving a 128-bit value from an XMM register to two 64-bit general purpose registers. We'll use the XMM1 register as our source. To transfer the lower 64 bits, we use the instruction move Q racks XMM1. This moves the first half of the XMM register into racks. Next, to move the upper 64 bits, we can use move Q RCX XMM1 with a slight modification. We need to extract the upper half. Now let's look at moving the same 128-bit value into four 32-bit general purpose registers. For the first 32 bits, we use move DEAX XMM1. This moves the lowest 32 bits into EAX. Next, we move the next 32 bits into ECX with move ECX XMM1. Then we continue with move EX XMM1 for the next segment. Finally, we move the last 32 bits into ESI using move DESI XMM1. This completes the transfer of the 128-bit value into four 32-bit registers. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. On Intel's SMB family, using Shuffle with Move Q or Move D performs similarly to Pext Star Q. However, on AMD Ryzen, Pext has lower latency than Shuffle plus Move Q. This makes Pext the better choice for extracting elements. While using a pure ALU strategy for extracting elements can be slow due to throughput issues, a store reload method can improve performance. This is especially true if the surrounding code is limited by ALU throughput. Another technique involves using integer shifts for extracting 32-bit elements. This can reduce pressure on vector ALUs and improve latency. Alternatively, you can keep the values around using a combination of move Q and ROARX. This method allows you to extract elements while maintaining their availability for further use. Wow. 
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This code demonstrates how to transfer 128 bit values between XMM registers and general purpose registers using AT&T syntax. It sets high and low 64 bit values, performs operations on the 128 bit register, and retrieves the results. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.